All right, and we're back, and we literally cannot do worse. Um, that's not true, I suppose. I could die, like actually literally die while doing the draft. That would be worse. It's going to take something like that, though, to do worse than we did the last time, so. Hey, right, let's see what I've learned. I've watched all of one draft of this and now done one draft of this, so. Let's see what I can figure out, if I can do something. Like I said, I can't do worse than it. Oh, hey, it's the pack one pick one from last time. Which I still think is a perfectly worthwhile card to grab. Uh, the Might Stone and Weak Stone is just way too versatile. Killing creatures or making... Or drawing two cards makes mana cast my artifacts, which would be helpful if I remembered. Uh, there is also Uvenwald Mysteries, which I really wish I had last tournament. That would have helped a lot. Uh, Vault Scourge is good. Uh, Citizen's Arrest is good. Yeah, I'm still taking the Might Stone, Weak Stone. If I'm wrong about this, then I'm going to keep being wrong about this for a while. Um, you don't need Urza. It just kills a thing. Or if you're ahead, draws you two cards to stay ahead. Uh, which is vanity is fine. Um, do like Gear Seeker Serpent a lot, but I think I'm gonna take the Vault Scourge here. See what we can do with that. That was another tempting card from the previous pack to take, because um, <clears throat> you can literally run this in any deck. It is not a black card as far as drafting. You just have to pay two life for it, and even in a black deck, uh, a lot of times. In its original format, in um, New Phyrexia, um, all of like you would play this on turn one by paying the two life almost every time. So, uh, sacrifice an artifact or a creature, put a one one counter on it. Sacrifice an artifact or creature, gain one life. Oh, when you do, put a counter on it and pay the three. Sacrifice it, gain a life, and draw a card. Um, not really what I'm looking for. Also, don't care for a three mana three one. So, <clears throat> uh, if anything, maybe the apple. Uh, see if there's a grab and stab type deck in this format. I haven't noticed any. Um, like, there's this thing so far, but I haven't noticed a lot of good sacrifice outlets, but. There should be some for artifacts, so stealing an opponent's creature should be fine. Uh, sacrifice an artifact or discard a card. <clears throat> uh, cleanup crew is fine. In fact, cleanup crew is very strong. It's a large body. It is not itself an artifact, so it's difficult to kill, and it can destroy an artifact. So I'm kind of inclined to take that again. Yeah, maybe the blue was the problem last time. I was just dirtling too much and not actually interacting with our opponents. <clears throat> also, my voice is still a bit hoarse from doing a three, three and a half hour recording session for um, Under Junction. Pay for or sacrifice an artifact or creature, destroy target creature, or planeswalker. Um, well, I'm okay grabbing that with the apple <clears throat> and the vault scourge so far and spending five mana is not the end of the world there's also a bloom hulk but we don't have any of the counters yet so seems unnecessary um yeah i'll take an extraction over screen puff <clears throat> both fine but the biggest problem i had was getting run over <clears throat> Uh, opponents just had more stuff than me, so. Um. Can take the Perilous Mirror as a thing I can sacrifice to the Glare. And kill a little creature with, and it stops little creatures from running me over too, so. Yeah, that's probably fine. Gold Mirror, Emergency Weld. Graveyard to your hand and make a 1 1. 
Yeah, we can just take the spider food. I've already got cleanup crew, so... I was thinking about the Legax because it shuts down any creature, but... Killing a... Killing an artifact or a flying creature is fine. I'm going to guess there's a couple of enchantments somewhere in this set that care about... What's going on in it, but... Let's take a bauble here. Uh, Bloom Hulk. Your sire. Which I might run depending on what else I get. Blood Fountain can be good. Yeah, the format doesn't seem super fast from most of the games that I've played so far. Like, there are definitely fast decks in it, but... It felt like I had time to do stuff. Uh, I can take the bake. I can take the wormlet. Because it's constantly growing. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the bake, though. Uh, also a bone splitter, which would be great for our uh, vault scourge, among other things. Make all make, make our small things actual threats. Uh, this is the one I get a land. It's a land you may reveal and put in your hand. If you don't, you may put it in your graveyard. Yeah, I think we take that. Uh, Defiant Salvager. The Fumigate is in this set. Enchant, another Bolt Scourge. Unfortunately, with another Bone Splitter. Hopefully, we can grab one of those at least. Or Whip. Um. Crisis, meh. Yeah, let's take another perilous mirror. Uh, baby Urza, sire, vault scourge. Yep, just gotta have all these one-one flying life links. Um, that Ozolith. Uh, not really what my deck is doing. Old Steel Heart, then. Servant is... Ernest the Battlefield, 1-1 one, one counter, it dies, put X-1-1 one, one counter. Yeah, you have to have other ways to proliferate onto that thing in order to actually do anything with it. Uh, plus one, plus one. Gains Reach, Trample, Hexproof, and Indestructible. Where there's a Bloom Hulk. There's also a Cutthroat Centurion which I do have a bunch of things that I don't mind sacrificing. I think I'm just going to take out a Bloom Hulk. It's a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four right now, so I kind of need other stuff to do with it, but... For the Witch. Hey, okay, um... Actually... Mm. Yeah, give me the Witch. I have Spider Food so far for her. Uh, literal Juggernaut. I don't think I'm splashing the red, and I don't really have the sacrifice outlets yet for... Um, actually running... This... Uh, Hey, anyway. oh, well, there's a Centurion now. Alright, so we have infinite flyers. Oh, there's Mishra's other half. I have Urza's other, other half, Mishra's other half. Uh, but neither of the brothers. Hey, right. let's keep baking then. Eventually we'll win this game. Probably not. Um, plunder. There's an infiltrator, which is interesting. 
Um, dowsing device would be really strong if I were anywhere near red. I mean, all I've got is the Seeker, Spider Food, the two Bloom Hulks. Let's take the Infiltrator. I've already got enough artifacts I can technically sacrifice on their own. Ooh, a Candy Grapple. Um, Infinite Volt Scourges. Uh, enters the battlefield for permanent you control at the battlefield this turn. Entire creature gets minus three, minus three. Yeah, let's just grab a candy grapple. Candy grapple too good. Pitiless plunderer. Mm, yeah. Yeah, no. Hidden stockpile is actually really good. Um, take the salvager though. Yeah, I'm retroactively going to be very sad I didn't grab the axe the one time where I thought about grabbing the axe when I only had the one vault scourge. I have known I was going to get another one after that. Hey, um, yeah, give me the infiltrator again. So there does look to be an actual red-black uh, grab-and-stab deck where you gain control of your opponent's creatures and then sacrifice them for value. What does he actually do? Enters the battlefield, makes a food, sacrifice a food, make a rat. And... Nope. Okay. Hey. Right. Give me the guy from Ratatouille. We will make our own Remy. Um... Yeah, give me the candy trail. Grab all these sacrificable artifacts. I have two infiltrators now. I'm wondering if I'm actually secretly mono black now. Hmm. Hmm. those up and take the cards out. It'd be pretty easy to run, but... One, two, three, four, five... I have to decide if I want any of the other things in there. Like, I could bring in the map and take out a land so I have an extra thing to get rid of. Yeah, I'm very nearly mono black anyway. So, if we just took out all of these things. Uh, bring in the map, take out a swamp. Actually, we, I was going to say we barely have anything. We have a 5-drop, some 4-drops of the map, the star, the candy trail, the bauble. All right. See how we do with mono black. Meru, Meru. Oh, I'm keeping this because we have plenty of land to work with and I can actually like try to dig away from land now with the scry. Yep.
Alright, Mirror, go get him. Next turn, we can either play the Witch out or we can play the Volt Scourge and crack the Candy Trail to draw a card. Gain the life back immediately. Okay. Yeah, if they're spending their whole turn bouncing my one drop. Also, now we can just play uh, Mirror plus Scourge. Be mean to my Volt Scourge. Eh, it's a bunch of 1 1 flyers. That's kind of annoying. try and find something better to do with what I have. Alright. That's actually not that bad. Alright, so they have to tap their two artifacts to make their guy unblockable, and if their guy's not unblockable, the Perilous Mirror can kill it, so... If they attack me for two, I can take two and attack them for one back and gain one, so... All of this is fine right now. I wonder if I don't just want to draw cards with the thing. Hey, okay, let's cast the plunder first. Bobble, the swamp. All right. Let's see what they're drawing. Okay. In for one because I'm not blocking. Swamps are not exactly what I needed here. We have a decent amount of removal though, so I'm very tempted to just draw with the white stone and weak stone. Mm. The problem is they're going to be able to make the Justicar unblockable and gain a ton of life. Yeah, they're already... I tap their guys down. Ah, oh, they're looking at Perilous Mirror. How does he work again? It's gonna be so bad if I miss removal spells again on the... Whirler. Like, any way to sacrifice the Mirror, any way to... Kill the Whirler Virtuoso should stabilize with what they're doing. Because then they just have a handful of dudes, and I really don't care about that. The opponent having trouble figuring out how to whirler rogue their guy? Is that what this is? Oh. Okay. Um block there, block here. Hey. Okay. Yeah, we're just killing that one. Even if they had trouble figuring it out, I'm going to assume they'll figure it out eventually, and I need to start killing their guys that are actually problematic. Uh, draw two. Oh, there's the Infiltrator. 
which I can't cast without sacrificing the treasure, which means it would miss a counter. Um, I think I just hold back for right now. The infiltrator is going to be huge. Um, like if the Vault Scourge trades off with one of their guys, that's another treasure, so that makes it a 4-3. The food from the Witch is a 5-4. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, just in case they have like the plus two, plus one to their team. I don't need to lose Pitiless Plunder. Oh, they have cog work. Okay. That's fine. Oh, there's. Oh, right. But they're still letting me gain a life here. Alright, there's the bake. I think we're stable now. I guess they have two 1-1 one, one flyers, so... Eventually I'll find my other Scourges. Um... Yeah, it's fine. Take two. Sack my food, gain three. The counter on my thing. I might still have too much mana in this deck. Hello. How are you? I've been out at the store and then getting dinner, so... Awake? <laughs> don't seem to be doing too good right now. I'm doing way better than I was in the last draft. This opponent's only got two 1-1 one, one flyers. Is this the Artifacts Matter Chaos yes. Draft? It's not Chaos. It's its own set, basically. Mm. Um... Okay, let's rumble again with the 3-2, see if they want to block it yet. Deal five damage to them. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, no, this game's going fine. Okay. It didn't look too good before, but I also didn't remember what the Infiltrator did, or whatever it was. Dixian Infiltrator? Yep. Okay. So, go to blockers, 1-4 and 1-1 one, one go here, 
and we see what they want to do first. It's just killing the mirror sire. That's fine. We bake the eye. So if they try and do anything else first. Alright. So if that comes in, that triggers, targets that. Alright, so now we extract its essence before it can potentially get another plus one plus one. Resolve that, resolve that. Yeah, sure, resolve that. And yeah, let's bake the eye of Malkator. Just need one of our actual sacrifice outlets for this. Meantime, it's fine. Swamp is not exactly what I needed. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's not quite good enough. Hey, right. not resorted to chumping your seven six that keeps growing yet. Ah, there's Chrome Prowler. Okay. Uh, that also works. Not yet. Hey, right. let's attack with the one ones that can't block. See, we want to sack the perilous mirror. I'd like to sacrifice the creature. Um, target creature or planeswalker to die. We target that. Um, sack that. All of those trigger. Kill the other two two here. With your abyss? Yep. Mm. Yeah, start pushing damage. And like gang block. What's his name if they want to? Yep, it's fine. Centurion. Wondering when he was going to show up. Alright, your deck is actually pretty silly. Hmm. Also, they forgot to re-equip their helm. Let's say another 
doesn't matter, but I would let them block the two three easily. Yep. <clears throat> You just need six more turns with your 1-1 flyers and you'll get there. They didn't think they were going to get there. Alright. So, infinitely better than my first attempt. I have won a game. So, dinner's here. Yeah, seems fine. on me, I was going to ask, what is the servant's thing again? A servant. Oh. Servant of the scale? Uh, it dies, it moves its counters okay. over. Okay. Hey, what are you drawing next turn? Ooh. <laughs> That's not what I want to see. So I can steal it and eat it. Oh, never mind. That's way worse. <clears throat> Actually. They make the treasure. Oh, yeah. I was they're going to cast their 6-6. Six, six. that they're blocking, but... <clears throat> Are they blocking? There's no way they're blocking. Come on, opponent. You don't want to block the little mirror? Look at him. He's so cute. You don't want to just hug him? Hmm. Are they going to kill the Vault Scourge? Yep. Oh no, that was 100% the correct move. I was wondering if they were going to actually do it. Because now that 2-1 is going to grow the Servant each time. Mm -hmm. And if the Servant ever dies, then the other things grow, and it just spirals at that point. 
I keep drawing land. I gotta cut down a land or two from this deck still. Or maybe like one of the Cold Steel Hearts. Put in something else. Yep, yeah, nope. This game feels very hopeless. I needed, uh, like, one or two more sock outlets, where I could just sock my own things to do stuff. I didn't get them. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I assume they weren't walking because they knew what was going to happen. <coughs> I also want to kill Tireless Provisioner, but at this point I think I kill the Flyer first. I didn't have high hopes for you winning this game before, but okay. Hey, yeah, you're just saying that. Because I'm losing this badly. I can go to one. Yeah, I don't think I can go to one. Which I guess means I'm killing this one here and they can put the counters wherever they want. <laughs> we almost hit six. So hmm. I want to make one of their other guys big enough. can I put in here? The blood fountain, maybe? Got the <coughs> seal heart. It's the most expensive one. Yeah, it's probably good enough. Alright, let's try that again.
Well, there's all the ways to sacrifice things I needed last game. Hi, Thraven Inspector. And now she's got an axe. Oh, man. It's fine. It's a little less fine. <laughs> well, I feel bad, but the thing I took out hasn't shown up. Like, the <laughs> fountain hasn't shown up to replace the land I'm currently missing, so... It all seems fine. Your opponent doesn't seem to have much going on. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just kill the ornithopter here. Oh! Well, I need a land now. Um. Hmm. Suppose we discard that four drop. That's actually good enough, thanks to the Annihilating Glare. Hmm. Um. Sacrifice a creature. Target the Herald. Submit that one. Perilous Mirror kills that. And I uh, attack them for one. Thank you, opponent. I appreciate that you thought my play was nice. One yep. more? I would assume so. Might be wrong, but I would assume so. <coughs> Whoever wants can pick up the axe. Hmm? Oh, hey, a fourth land. That's, That's neat. I know, right? Hey, okay, and now to make one of their 1-1s one stay back. At least. Man, this does not feel great. Um, 
Especially since the modular just means that the other one will still be a 4-4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well. Over. Hmm. Actually, I should have killed the guy in response because now they can just sack it to scry one. That was a mistake. Hmm. Forgot about that portion of it. Because now I won't get the food token. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Okay, I was never getting the food token. Got it. And I take four. They get a one one. Fuck pile so good. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Sacrifice your treasure and your clue and draw a card. If they do when they're already getting 1 1 this turn, that'd be silly. <laughs> ah, good. More land. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. Scourge, just keep getting in there. Never stop. <clears throat> Figure out the rest later. Doing everything in his power. I know he is. I appreciate that about him. Also, has your opponent dealt any damage to themselves, or have you actually drained eight life from them this game? I'm pretty sure I've hit them for eight. <coughs> Whether or not all of that has been Vault Scourge, I'm pretty sure all of that's been Vault Scourge. They even get a replacement 1-1 one, one for me blocking that thing. Deals 2 damage to them. Yeah, all right. I don't think I can win this anyway, so... Definitely not with that extra land. I mean, I'm running, what, 15 land in this deck? <clears throat> I'm flooding out. Come on, Arena, why you gotta be like that? <clears throat> so I block that, I take two, six, seven, eight, and gain three back. Hey, whatever. Opponent has a third color. Well, yeah, they had the uh, whatchamacallit before. Yes, but they actually have a third color, apparently. Mm -hmm. They're not just relying on the infinite treasure they have. And the Trarian. My opponent would like to find a removal spell and just kill me, but... Pretty sure they were supposed to do that first, but okay.
Now they deal point of damage to me in response because I took the damage first before gaining life. No, nope. okay. <clears throat> Alright, Volt Scourge. I need you to do 11 damage this turn for no reason. No? Okay, cool. Alright, you tried. Pretty sure it dealt them 10 damage, so. No, seriously, I have 15 land in this deck. Mm hmm. <sighs> yes, I and anyone watching was aware of that when you proceed to draw no land and then only land. Hey, right. just so we're clear, build a Herald of Anguish, anguish and everything there. <laughs> Probably last opponent, the rate I've been going. At least I've won a game this time, so. Alright. on my upkeep. Are you kidding me? The whole point of putting the stop on my upkeep is so I can crack the map before I draw. Now granted I drew a spell but still, that is the purpose behind doing that. Please don't undermine me by ignoring the stop I just put on my upkeep. Oh, one vault storage <sighs> almost killed your opponent last game. I know. I'm very tempted to grab the other one. But I kind of need more land. Which I'm only getting one of right now. Yeah, I think it's safe to put the other one on the bottom. Arrow smear seems good here. I already have a sock outlet. <clears throat> this opponent has a third color. So neat.
Yep. Uh, it's the hot spring that gives haze. creatures you can draw haze. Remove a 1-1 one -one counter from hot springs. Hey. Damn it, that loves to give counters. Yep. successfully taking your actions. Um, can attack or block. Okay, that's fine. Take like seven damage here. Eight, nine. Still whatever. Ten. Seven. Okay. Still haven't done half my life total in damage yet, so. Feeling alright. Traitor. There's that, I suppose. Um, Doesn't leave you enough no, money. No, man. Though. Yeah. That's what I was actually looking for. I'll make sure I can. gonna be a no from me, dog. Sorry. Oh, anyway. Yeah? You don't love your, uh, mirror sire? Okay. Um... I do have a counter on the hot springs again. Uh, they still, they haven't moved the last one off. Hmm. So. Alright, they were using the other thing to move counters. Yep. So you seem to have found the vault scourge again. Yep. It's almost like there are a bunch of them in my deck or something. I'm sure they're fine. Okay, so now they're dead. They just don't know it. Oh, right, because you can sack two food now. Yep. Hooray! Hey. Right. There's as many wins as I have losses. Now, if I can just get as many wins as I had losses in the previous one... Then you'll be up to three? Yeah, then I'll be up to five. 
win. I'm pretty sure you didn't have five losses in the last one. No, I meant between the two. Pretty yeah, sure that's I... not what you said. I thought that's what I said. Are yep. you sure? You said, now if you can get as many losses as you had in the previous one, which would be three. Right, then I would have five total. I already have two wins for the two losses I have here, so if I get three more wins, that matches three losses. Menu. Um, sure. They're going this one. You are not. Mm. I'm only running 15 lands. I flooded out before, so. Stands to reason. This their land they played? Is that the white blue artifact land? No. I should have done this on my turn in case I also drew the map, but. Fine. This is fine. This is less fine. I just kill your opponent with Boxer. And over this, it's a winning strategy. Yes. But I'd like it if I actually drew my land. I was going to say, if my opponent does not sacrifice their map, then they're just mocking me for my lack of lands. Like, I don't even need to crack this map to beat you. Also, right now they are technically four colors. Yes. In fact, they are actually four colors because they played a swamp and a mountain. Okay. Holds your heart name is green. Okay. Kill the flyer. Start this rolling. Oh, well, that's horrifying. Just a tiny bit. dare hurt my bolt scourge. With a bolt surge. Hey. Okay. Fine. Whatever. This just gives me a second creature for when I eventually get to four mana. Oh, they milled a land. Wow. Yeah, no, their scrap trawler is popping off. They have a Brea. All right, I need to kill the scrap trawler. Like, I didn't want to do it because I didn't want them getting back their flyer, but... Oh, good. Perfect. Um... But yeah, now that they're just doing all of this, I need to kill scrap trawler because they just get infinite value out of it. On the right side, my guy's going to be a 3-2. Ooh, you should attack with your Scrap Trawler and trade it off since you know I'm going to kill it eventually anyway. Oh, what horrifying thing is in their graveyard now? Eh, just a bounce spell.
Well, yeah, you found your third land. Now you get all the land. Alright. That is enough infinite value out of you. Uh, yep. And they can't get back Scrap Trawler because he's three or less. Okay. The scrap Trawler four? Yeah. Oh, he is. I thought he was four. If he was four, they would have been able to get back their other guy. I thought they could get back their other guy. Well, I've messed up. No, I thought Scrap Trawler was a four drop, because I've used him before. How is he a three? Since when is he a three? Like, I actually want to go to a gatherer right now and look up Scrap Trawler, because I was a hundred percent... I would have bet real money that he was a four drop. Without even blinking, like... Like, the only reason why I wouldn't have accepted a bet on Scrap Trawler being four is I wouldn't believe somebody would offer that if they didn't know Scrap Trawler was definitely not a four. Um, yeah, I have no good blocks. Now, this is just awful, and I've lost now. All right. Now, if you had asked me what Scrap Trawler's mana value was, I would have said four. It's okay, they got back Courier anyway. They decided they wanted the card draw, not the... Right? <laughs> yeah, no, this is actually messing with me more than them winning is... Scrap Trawler was always a 3-drop. Nah, it's okay, I've lost. Also, I killed their guy before they could get back Scrap Trawler, so... Yeah, no, that is actually messing with my head, because I was certain Scrap Trawler was a 4-drop when I killed it. Like, legitimately, if you had been like, I'll bet you $500 Scrap Trawler is a 3-drop, I would have said yes. And then I would have been like, wait, hang on, no, because I now I'm paranoid. But without paranoia, yes, I would have definitely gone, yeah, I, I believe he's a 4-drop. Uh, I've played with Scrap Trawler before in Commander, like, I run this thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Scrap Trawler is most definitely a 4-drop. As far as I remember him. Like, this is actually messing with my head that he's only a three. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm clearly off my game, and I've done this twice now, so I want to save some number of gems for the next set coming out. So I think we're going to call it there, so thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a good rest of your day.